All right, everyone. Welcome back to the Nightmare Realm. This episode, we're going to be venturing out into the distant unknown, and also removing these pressure plates, because they were really starting to bother me when I was editing yesterday's video. So I'm going to quickly get these out of here. There we go. And now we have 11 completely useless items. Anyway, I believe for this episode, we're going to be going down um, to this area. Though it does have gas spawners practically everywhere, it does also contain the white wool, so I think getting a wool and actually starting to make some progression in the map is going to be a very big motivator for me to do more in this map, so I'm going to quickly find the fastest way down. You guys will probably stay with me for a while during this adventure, just because there's going to be a lot of monster fighting and cool stuff. Maybe there'll be like an edited montage of it, I'm not sure. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with video editing. So, this series, that's thats really what the series is. Good practice for editing. Uh, oh, boy, another tower. Okay, I think we might have a new target. Yeah, if there's no one behind me, I think we do have a new target here. I'm going to go after the spawner. And uh, gather some blocks while I'm down there, get back up. I do have well, not much on the pickaxe. Okay. Um, well, I have to go down there anyway, so <laughs> I might as well just see what happened. No, I'm not even gonna get stuck. I'm gonna be right back with you guys with a new pickaxe, so we can get down there safely. Into that fireball. That fireball just literally incinerated. Being weird today. Oh no. I hate these little buggers. It takes so many hits. Oh, thank god. You know, that would be a good nerf for the Minecraft baby zombie. If they gave those darn little things less hit points, that would be great. Because they are smaller, so realistically it makes sense. Why would they have the same amount of hit points as a regular darn full-size zombies? They are literally a fourth of the size. But anyway, enough, enough ranting about those darn overpowered things. Um... Get into this dungeon. So I have enough nether rack, and it looks like the one zombie which was down there actually despawned. So the question now is if I can properly survive this fall. I'm gonna regenerate just a little bit. The spawner, I think, yes, it is active. So um, do I have light? I don't. Oh, got another rack. Whew. Man, <laughs> hearing those arrows fire just makes me think there's skeletons everywhere, and that is a terrifying thought. Anyhow, we have secured the area. Now down with the spawner. Let us proceed. There's a few creepers about. Oh. Headshot. Headshot. Whoa, that, that was like phase through headshot. I'm not even sure how that works, but um, non-headshot? Blow up. Blocks. Oh. Gotta be a little careful, is all. Alright, now they have a high ground, so this is a little more worrying, but not too much. Scales over there. Climb right here. The bow really does just kind of solve all of my problems. If I actually don't get shots. Okay, that skeleton, his AI saw me when he didn't. Or 
something. Something fishy happens. Now he's seen me. Yeah, now he's dead. Okay, I hear spiders. Don't like that. There it is. Oh, the arrow went through my god. My sword's almost dead, too. I'd better be careful. My bow is going a bit low, too. Four hearts is not where I'd like to be. Ouch. This is the reason. Mostly because I'm not very attentive. Okay, there's the wool. So that's directly connected to this island, which is great, because my biggest fear is trying to bridge over somewhere and getting knocked off by a skeleton. I would hate that. Okay, approaching the dungeon. This is actually mossy cobblestone, not clay. So I don't see any spawners off the bat. I do see treasure. Oh, I bet they're up here. They're probably up there, so I'm gonna get in real quick. Yep, there they are. Just block that off. Um, we appear to be safe in here, because there's a lot of light. Yep, there's the wool. Um, actually, before I do anything else, just regenerate a tiny bit, then we should probably get out of here. First spider, and go, mad dash away! Ah! But in all seriousness, there was some treasure in that dungeon, so I think I'm gonna have to go back there just in a bit. I'm gonna wait for the monsters to despawn, and then I'm gonna go. Alright, the monsters haven't despawned. But I have a strong feeling that I can just kill off a few that are there and get in before more spawn. <clears throat> like the skeleton, for instance. Okay, no, there are zombies. <laughs> No one comment on my use of the bow, as it is uh, absolutely terrible. Okay, um, this is actually pretty deadly. Ah! No knockback. Ah, I'm not gonna go in there on 1 HP. Okay, um... I'm gonna wait just a little bit, guys, get some HP back, and then I'm gonna try again. It looks like there's a heck of a lot of monsters in there. Probably much more than one spawner. Ouch! Oh, I'm dead. Darn it. <laughs> Walked back into my own fire. That's... yeah, that probably sums it up. Awesome! All of our stuff, and now that the spawners still have to rev up again, I think it's safe to go in and just grab everything and run. Safety pants on. Yup. Yeah. Okay, except for the spider. Don't like the idea of the spider. Creeper's fine, because he's not going to see me. Shoot, don't. You know you don't want to. Yep. That's just flint and steel. Shoot. No. Oh. Ah, I thought it was all the tools and stuff. Ah, well, flint and steel is helpful. Not as helpful as to lose half my health for it, though. Ugh. It was a troll. I should have known it was a troll. Actually, I'm going to use this place as my new checkpoint base, since it's basically very easy to get here again. Go, go, go! And 360! Boom! Ha ha! It is done! The white wool has been secured on the Victory Monument. We're gonna say this is like the, uh, um, well, there's really no way to work wool into building portals, so we'll call it moral support. We'll say Amenzi really likes collecting a bunch of different colors, and the only way he can get home is to collect all the colors in the rainbow. Wow. This must be the best story I've come up with yet.